Hi, Robert Anthony here for Tuts Plus. Logic Pro 10 introduced a handful of new and revised features to, in my opinion, an already superior DAW. Drummer is one such feature which gives you a virtual drummer that intelligently plays along with your productions automatically. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a drummer track to control any plugin you have, making this new feature even more versatile, especially for electronic genres. In true Apple fashion, Drummer inside of Logic Pro 10 is an almost seamless collaboration of virtual hardware and scripting software. When you create a new drummer track by either going to Track, New Drummer Track, or by selecting the New Tracks icon here and selecting Drummer, Logic Pro 10 will create a sequencer track and load a channel strip setting with the new drum kit designer loaded in. You can think of the drum kit designer as the, quote, hardware, and the drummer track as the, quote, software being used to control the hardware. The key concept to realize, though, is this. The drum kit designer is just like any other plugin. For example, I can create a new software instrument sequencer track and load in a drum kit designer, just like any other plugin. What is unique, however, is the drummer track itself. Instead of using a traditional piano roll to sequence the MIDI, it's using a scripting engine to control the playback of the drums to not only give you lifelike playing, but also give you unique styles of playing in the form of different virtual drummers. So like I said, you can create a new drum kit designer plugin using a regular software instrument sequencer track. The great news is, you can also do the opposite and load any plugin into a drummer track. This will allow you to use the new drummer track scripting engine along with all the controls and virtual drummers to play any plugin you have. To do this, first create a new drummer track by going to Track, New Drummer Track, or by clicking the New Tracks icon and selecting Drummer. After that, you can click on the Channel Strip Settings icon at the top of the Mixer Channel Strip and select Reset Channel Strip. This will remove the Drum Kit Designer plugin and all the Audio Effect plugins. But if you look in the main work area, you will see that the drummer regions are still in the sequencer, along with the drummer track controls. You can now load in any plugin you want and use the drummer track to control the playback automatically. So I have some examples here to show you. The following audio examples use a drummer track to sequence the demonstrated sounds. So first, a percussive top layer. This example uses an instance of Motu's Mach 5.3 with one of the included patches from the Universal Loops and Instruments library to create a nice percussive top layer that you can add over your main drum track. Creating simple top layers is a great way to save on needing to purchase third-party loops. You can use existing virtual instruments and the various patches that are available and create your own loops. So next is a rhythmic style atmosphere. This example uses the ESX24 with the atmospheric effects patch loaded in from the textures, cinematic textures subcategory of the factory content.
This is more complex than the simple percussion top loop that we just listened to. You could almost use this as a main part of the production. Next, in this example, I made a rolling timpani section using the timpani single strokes ESX24 patch loaded from the orchestral tune percussion subcategory of the Logic Pro 10 factory content. So as you can see, using a drummer track to control playback will open up a world of creative loop and sound design possibilities. Next, I want to give you some tips that I found when experimenting with using a drummer track to control other plugins. So as the name should suggest, the drummer track is best used for achieving rhythmic and groove style results. You can load in any plugin, but keep in mind that you don't have control over the notes played in the way that you normally would with a sequencer. So a piano, for example, isn't going to sound very good as a piano because the notes that are being played are completely ignoring the pitch in favor of the swing and the groove. Next, using the drummer track controls really does give you effortless variations to your loops. If I open up one of our examples again, a simple parameter change to the drum parts being played or a change in the complexity of the playing style will quickly give you a new version of your loop or a completely different loop depending on the degree that you change the parameter. Next, as much sense as it does make, it's kind of a disappointment, but you can only have one drummer track per project. A simple solution I found is to bounce in place the drummer regions to render out the audio. This will keep the drummer track available to continue using. Next, you can change the drum preset to try out different drum grooves, but changing the virtual drummer will cause the channel strip to be reset. I don't think there's any getting around this because changing the drummer also inherently changes the drum kit and all the audio effects. This wasn't really a deal breaker for me, given the use of the drummer track and this way is more experimental. Finally, if you want to have multiple outputs, you need to first change the drum kit designer to a multi-output before replacing it with another multi-output plugin. 
If you don't first set the drum kit designer to multi-output, you'll only have a stereo output available when loading in another plugin. Drummer inside of Logic Pro 10 is a great tool for adding drums and percussion parts to your production. Using a drummer track to control other plugins opens up a world of sound possibilities. From quickly creating new drum grooves with your third-party plugins to experimental sound design. This is Robert Anthony for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.